Welcome or welcome back. I got myself some hot tea. I was craving coffee but then I wasn't and that's not normal because I always want coffee. But I thought I'm gonna skip the coffee for now. I'm gonna drink it later in the day when I'm feeling a bit sleepy and need a pick me up. So for now we have some hot tea. I'm just getting comfy here because <sighs> uh, this is going to be a chit chat video and chit chat me telling a story actually I hope you like it and I hope you can learn a little bit from it because I wish there are some things that I knew before I started and uh, as you definitely saw the title of this video it's about my fitness journey so let's get to it I didn't make any notes I wanted to be very natural I wanted to be like a story time telling uh, type thing so yeah no notes definitely will cut out some pe parts pieces some parts of this video because uh, Otherwise, you hear the, um, uh, um, me thinking the whole time what I want to say. Of course, uh, English is not my first language, so that's that. But I'm grabbing my phone because there are some pictures from the days that I started. And I was like, hmm. I'm definitely putting some on the screen on the side. But uh, I just wanted to see when it was and this one is for example 16th of August I really please look I don't know what I'm doing there and I don't know why I took the picture like that I think I was like oh man I see some games and I want to I want to show it I want to make a picture I make a, make a memory but, but literally you don't even know if it's me I know it's me but you don't know if it's me and uh, let me see let me try to find another one oh, these are so good this is a video I'm gonna pop it on the screen because oh my god I am so skinny but I am trying those were like 4k I think four kilograms uh, dumbbells her side it was a lot for me <laughs> it was uh, oh my god this is so fun to see the poses that I made and I'm back again I had a good thing going there I was talking having a flow but uh, yeah my camera decided uh, that the memory card was full or something like that hmm maybe I was not prepared well I don't know but anyways <laughs> where was I I was talking about me going to the gym in 2016 starting ish because in 2016 beginning of the year and like I think end of 2015 I already started but the only thing I was doing is going to school working at a restaurant and going to the gym on repeat and that was not very healthy that's one thing and the second thing is I did cardio I did so much cardio but I was underweighted and I have no idea why I did that and I, I wear a, I probably I, if I try to I will find that video but I have a hoodie like a all black outfit of course so nobody uh, recognized me at the gym and nobody sees me I was very much on the cover <laughs> I was wearing all black outfit and a thick thick hoodie with a, even like a long sleeve underneath and I went on the treadmill or I went on the uh, stairs for like 45 minutes high intensity I was sweating like crazy and then it felt like I did a good work but the weight kept, kept dropping down and why yeah course not eating enough and it's not because I didn't want to or I had an eating disorder it was just my body I couldn't fit more um, 
into it and because I did the cardio I started eating a little bit more I started craving some more carbs and more food because I was tired and I couldn't get to the gym to do the 45 minutes cardio without any eating anything so that was the moment when I realized like okay so working out gives me feel of hunger kinda or like helps me to eat a little bit more so but yeah that was not consistent doing a lot of cardio and uh, sometimes picking up some little weights but everything felt heavy and everything felt too intimidating I never went to the guys section or like the free dumbbell weight the weight section and yeah at some point I just drop out of uh, the gym that I was in because it was uh, very far from my work and it was not convenient so I switched to a gym that was like all over the place and I mean um, in a lot of cities the same franchise and then you can just like train wherever you are and after school I would uh, have a workout on the weekends I would have a workout but I did only leg day because I thought only leg day will grow my legs, will grow my booty and I will be the Instagram influencer with a big booty, with a big transformation. But nothing happened and I mean not nothing, I got a little bit better at the exercises. At some point I started picking up some weights. I started uh, to train in the free weight section so very slowly but steady I got better at the gym let's say like that and then I started to eat better and that's where I saw a big result and I dropped out of cardio time because my work was waitressing and restaurant and it was the most high intensity job you could find next to training and next to going to school and like living quite far and always being uh, on the go and not even in the beginning I didn't have a car so it was always like walking or biking and taking the bus or the uh, train but yeah I was always moving <laughs> <laughs> why do I add cardio to that? I have no idea. I really don't know. But I started learning. I started following different accounts on Instagram. And I must say Instagram can teach you a lot. But it can also hurt you a lot. Because uh, you look up to certain people. And yeah, now I know what I want. And I just like look at the influencers that I think they are genuine and they are like taking care of their body instead of just showing their body off so yeah that was a big big mind and game changer for me but yeah anyways you can learn a lot but you can hurt yourself also if you are not taking your own body and your own mind in consideration because at the time I was only following blindly some exercises that I saw some things that the influencer was doing and your own research is the most important thing in the fitness industry if you want to use supplements do it but just do your research which one is good for you which one works for you uh, which one tastes good for you because also I tried a lot of things that was hyped by everybody I just didn't like it it was so disgusting I have no idea how people can say that they drink it every day and maybe they will maybe they do also because everybody has a different taste um, for things everybody likes different things uh, if everybody liked everything the same yeah the world will be so boring need a little break this is so good green tea it's a natural detox uh, tea I did that as well I drink detox tea and I mean it's not bad it's good for you sometimes to like get your body cleansed and like 
clean out all the things that you don't like that you consume over the time and was still in your body um so definitely definitely good good thing to do but um yeah drink your detox tea every day and uh being underweighted was probably not a smart idea and not my best idea but i'm definitely not the most uh, lean person or strong person or i'm not even where i want to be right now but i think i made progress i'm gonna show you some videos or pictures over here just because uh this is me now i uh started after i finished school and i started working at the restaurant for a time like a year i think full time uh, so it was my only job because i didn't know exactly what i wanted to do and being a waitress was an easy thing like easy for me uh, because that's like a side job that i always did and it's just something that came natural to me it was nice to have the contact with people and work quick fast uh, a few good hours and uh, getting paid for it so that was what i did and that's also when i got a little bit more serious with fitness i uh, started looking into nutrition i started looking into like progressive overload uh, how i should train and this is where that happened um, so i grow my uh, glutes and i grow my uh, legs my upper body it's still a struggle i do train my upper body because before like i said i only trained legs and glutes and uh, and cardio but now i started also training my back and my shoulders and i must say i still do love training legs just because i know it's like the good part of my body and by good i mean it's the strongest part of my body and that is why i like to train it because i always can push a little bit more and I'm also not scared of pushing a little bit more with my upper body I'm like sometimes it feels like something is breaking <laughs> and I don't know maybe if I take this off a little you can see like my upper body it's not built very big so I do have like a little of a definition in my arms and my shoulders but it's definitely not where i wanted to be so for now i'm training four times a week that's my new split and i'm doing twice upper body and twice lower body and when i do the lower body i uh, separate it in like front and back so the quads or the hamstrings and i add some abs at the end of the uh, lower body because uh, when i train the upper body sometimes there's already like an ab exercise there but that's the split that i'm doing right now i definitely like to train like five days in a week sometimes even six or seven is also what i did a few <laughs> few years back i was like at the gym every day it just depends on the season that i'm in i think because now i'm trying to build a little bit of strength in my upper body like i said i don't like it um, i mean i don't mind it that it's smaller but i just would prefer it to be a bit bigger and also to be strong because i want to do the push-ups i want to do the pull-ups without uh, any feeling in my body that something is going to break so and like i said the great balance is needed because if you want to build your lower body there's a lot of people that ask me like how did you do that and how did you go from this like flat back to 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 like to like a bump on your back and i mean it it's it's not magic it's it didn't happen overnight and it definitely can be done way faster than i did it but yeah just consistent training and lifting weights that will help you but also the definition of what people say the illusion of hourglass body is you have to build your upper body as well and just to be in proportion that's one thing to be healthy overall that's the second thing 
and just to be able to also lift all those heavy weights for your lower body you have to have a strong upper body we don't have that you don't even be able to set up your lower body exercises or like uh, carrying the weights that you want to carry with your legs it, it's not gonna work out so i would say train both upper body lower body make a split that works for you some people like the full body workouts and you can do that like three times in a week if you don't have the four days uh, time or possibility to train I would say just start somewhere doing something is always better than doing nothing of course everybody will tell you that and I wanted to say and if you want to just comment below we can make a part two uh, if you have any questions you can put them in the comments feel free to send a DM on my Instagram there is always room for improvement for everybody so if you have any questions for me specifically or you have something that you want to share or your story that you would like to share just send it to me i love to read that and there is one little thing that i want to say i created a challenge for eight weeks and it's starting on the first of november it's gonna be a challenge that will get you started in the gym if you don't have a gym subscription i would recommend that for more info you can just head up to my instagram and just send me a dm with any questions that you would have and the challenge is like i said eight weeks from one sept uh, starting on one november and it's until christmas time and i thought it's uh, perfect thing to just get you started because everybody now is like oh, new year's resolutions are coming why should i start now i start on 1 of january 2020 i'm going to start i'm going to go to the gym i'm going to eat healthy i'm gonna take care of my body blah -de blah -de blah and then two weeks in january everybody's like Meh. what did i say again i think i forgot so I would say why wait if you want to do it or will do it either way why are you waiting just start now and by 1st of January you will be already having the habit of going to the gym habit of eating healthier and the habit of like taking care of your body so yeah I would say join me and let's make it fun together <laughs> anyways thank you so much for watching if you have any questions like I said before comment below and if you're not yet subscribed please do and I will see you next week thank you and bye bye